Go ahead. Okay, if, if a person uh, was to convert to Judaism today, and you know it's official, it's all good, um, the, so the, the person would be Jewish, but would he be a part of any tribe? Like, right. I'm curious how that would work. It's a good question. So a male would not belong to any tribe until he had a daughter who got married to a, a Jew belong to a tribe. Um, so basically what I'm saying is that uh, me, neither one, the woman or the man, until the, until the, until the woman gets married, she ex accepts and adopts the husband's tribe. The tribe goes by the husband. The fact that she, the person's Jewish or not goes by the mother, which is a fantastic idea. You know, in today's world where you have, uh, you know, a lot of feminism and women's rights and, you know, it's a, it's, you understand that the child is in the womb, the mother's womb for nine months and is taught the entire Torah and she's going to nurture and, I mean literally nurture, uh, after, after, after birth as well, that the love and the, the, the light is coming through the mother and not, not necessarily the father. Well, whether the father works or not, I know today the world is up, upside down in all kinds of ways, whether the mother works and the father stays at home, it doesn't matter. Something about the mother's nurturing that is uh, beyond beyond this world. Does that extend to, grand, to the grandchildren, or it, once the daughter, that's it? Like if you don't have, if you let's say that you don't have daughters, you have sons. No, we're talking about if someone converts, do they have a tribe? The truth is, they have no family. When someone converts, right. they are like orphans. Right. Uh, I mean, we're talking about born again. Okay, I mean, literally. You're not related to your own family. I'm talking halakhically. Of course, they're your parents, they're your children, your whatever, your relatives. You're going to have a love for them like no end. But from halakhic heirs, right, uh, in terms of inheritance, your, you, your stuff would become called a hefker, or, you know, unless you, you know, people write wills. I mean, that's, they go by the will. But uh, if it was no will, it would be uh, up for grabs. It's not like your children would have your the first rights. Of course, you would write a will, and that would be fine. Um, it's just the way it is. Uh, will the gear, the the not the the righteous gentile? I'm sorry, the righteous convert have a place. Of course, you can always rent. There's always you know like kibbutzim communities. There's a lot of social welfare. I wouldn't worry about that if that's something that is, is worrying a person, um, especially when Zman Mashiach, everyone's going to be taken care of, you know. In fact, Mashiach will sniff out uh, what tribe you're from. So it could be, this, I, I know a lot of people that end up converting, I don't say a lot of people, a handful of people, and after the conversion, then they found the documentation that they actually were Jewish. Um, and it could be through the seed, who knows, we, you know, we live in this world, we have what we have in front of us, these are what you have in front of you, I can't guarantee you anything, but um, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting, everyone has an interesting story. You will be taken care of, I wouldn't uh, worry about it. It happened already in the time of uh, when we came into the land. There were, uh, according to many opinions, there were two times the amount of Erev Rav, the mixed multitudes, than there were Jews, uh, Israelites. And everyone, there was no complaints. Everything, everybody was taken care of.